Welcome to the hub of analytics education, preparing students for the future millions of records at a time. The hub of analytics education is located in Boston, Massachusetts. My name is Charlie Bay Malgren, one of the co-founders of the hub of analytics education. Today's objective for this video is we're going to extract data from one table to create a brand new table. The business intelligence tool that we're going to be using today is ACL. ACL is predominantly used by internal and external auditors as well as risk management professionals. You'll also need to get your sales file from the hub of analytics education. Once you have that sales file and your ACL license, let's get started. All right, we're back here in ACL, and this is where I left you the last time. We had gone through, we had already imported December sales, and we did some classification of our December sales by ID, and we also summarized our December sales by inventory ID. We'll get rid of this classified December sales by ID, but we don't have to do that right now. What I really want to focus on is this summarize December sales by ID. And today what we're going to do is we're going to extract information out of this table and create a brand new table. Sometimes you might want to have just certain records, you might want to have certain fields uh, versus just uh, deleting all of these. You might want to create a separate table uh, that you might use later on. And the extraction that we're going to do today is we're going to pull out all the inventory IDs. One of the things with this data set is not every inventory ID is in each file. So for example, I might have an inventory ID that is in beginning inventory, but I may not have sold or purchased any of that particular inventory ID during the year. That's a different issue, but that could potentially could happen. Later on, when we create a relational database, I'm going to have to have a starting point. An inventory ID as a primary key is always a good starting point. So we're going to ultimately create a master list of inventory IDs. So for all the files that I import, I'm also going to create a separate file for inventory IDs. Ultimately, I will combine them later and create that master list. So we're going to do a quick extraction, and you can extract a lot of things, but we're going to go here. We're going to try to extract inventory ID, and we're going to go up here to data, to extract, and here we are. We have our little extract box. So you can do extract a record, a view, or fields, and what we're interested in is extracting fields. And again, you can make it conditional. You only want to extract fields that have a certain criterion. Uh, or you only want to extract records that have a certain criterion. So we're not going to have any of that today for our extraction. All we want to do is we want to create a field extraction. And the field that we want to extract is just inventory ID. You could see if you wanted to just pull out inventory ID and maybe description or brand. There's a lot of different things that you can do. And we're going to create, put this into a new table. And we're going to call this in sales, inventory sale, um, uh, inventory IDs, sales. Just to let us know that, that these are the IDs from the sales file. We'll have it go to an output table, more. Again, these are some of the things if you wanted to append to an existing file, you can. We don't have an existing file at this point in time, but you could do that here. We're just going to create this, this field. Uh, this table by itself and just bring out inventory IDs. This is a pretty quick process, so I'm not going to leave you. This should take just a few seconds. And there you go. Now we've, uh, now we've extracted one variable, or one field, out of an existing table and created a brand new table, a brand new data set. We'll do this with every other data set that we bring in. When we bring in purchases, beginning inventory, and ending inventory, we'll also do this exact same uh, process of extracting the inventory IDs out of each of those particular files. And we'll later on, we'll merge them all together or append them to each other to get a master list. Until next time. Thanks for watching the Hub of Analytics Education video series. The Hub of Analytics Education provides open educational resources 
to educators around the globe, supporting both higher education and secondary education. For more information, please visit our website at hubae.org.